they came to our house and took my father and my elder brother Samuel. On the way going to the Holy Center, we lost our father. And when they reached with our elder brother Samuel, he was there for two days and he too died. And before my father passed away, when the ambulance came for them, they fell down. They told us not to go closer to him again. He was crying for food, but we are not able to give him the food. After two days, we two at home started to show out the signs and symptoms. So we immediately called the attention of the medical doctors. They took our specimen and they said we have the Ebola virus. When I was at the treatment center, when I saw a lot of children dying, and they said we should not touch no one at the place there, I feel so sad. When I got well, they took me to Moyamba town here, to my home. When I came, the stigmatization with the community people was not very easy for me. All my friends that I had before this time could not talk to me. Some of them would not even come to our house again. When I want to go to the market to buy food for us to come and cook, the motor riders there will not allow me to take their bike. Even if I have money to pay, I would just after there, I will come to the plan office here at Moyamba cry to them, and they will help us to have food on that day. Really, it's good the help of the plan workers here and the social welfare. They talk to the community people that they should allow us home again, and they should try to take us as brothers and sisters in the community. So from that time, all of us are now living peacefully in the community. I still continue to work with my fellow children here. I told those that have not yet got the Ebola virus to abstain and to stop the body contact with each other. I still continue my work with them, go to the registration, sanitizing all the others that have not yet got the Ebola virus. I'm feeling fine really today. When I'm with my friends, with my colleagues, I feel so happy. Because when I go back home, I'm only there with my other sister. The only thing I want the whole world to know is that we, the young people that have survived from the Ebola virus, we only need education. Because I believe when I'm educated, I can get all what I want. Yes, Mama, come on, your life will be here. Well, it's very important. So, we the very important. We're going to be very important. We're going to be very important.